joined by head coach Sparky McEwen. Uh, coach, for you, you guys one and two so far this year. How would it, you assess your team's progress after the first three games? Uh, three tough opponents, you know, uh, three tough opponents, and um, you know we just went into this ball game against you know Northern, and we knew it was going to be a physical affair, and we knew the team that um, you know obviously had the least amount of MAs. Uh, missed opportunities would, would come out on top and, and I really thought that you know uh, Northern Michigan took advantage of opportunities that they had so hats off to them but you know uh, our ball club knows that uh, we got we just we just have to get better you know you were able to score 14 points in that first quarter and then the last three not able to do so so you know in your opinion what changed over those last three quarters not a whole lot, you know, to be honest with you. I, I think they tightened down, and I just think that uh, we just made a few more mistakes than what uh, was expected by us, and uh, give them credit. You know, they did some good things, but, you know, we had some opportunities that I felt that we missed uh, in regards to execution. So um, these are things that we have to tighten down on uh, if we expect to, you know, be more productive in the future. You know, you take a look at a guy like Amante Phillips, no catches in his last two games. I'm sure that's something that's concerning you a little bit, but, you know, how do you get the ball into playmakers' hands a little bit more? Well, he's been banged up. You know, he's been banged up, and he's trying to play through injuries, and, you know, obviously when you don't practice, it makes it very tif- difficult to, you know, get your time with your quarterbacks and uh, other, you know, uh, receivers, you know, so um, he's back healthy again, and we're excited about that, and we got to find a way, obviously, to make sure that uh, you know he gets touches because he, you know, he's one of the guys that makes his offense go. Um, when we get the ball in his hands, we're pretty, uh, we're pretty good on the offensive side. You know, Ferris will definitely want to establish the run in the top five in Division Two and running the football. So, you know, what can you do defensively to limit some of those big plays on Saturday? You know, number one, we have to tackle. We haven't done a good job tackling the football. Uh, we had 30 missed tackles first the Wildcats, and, you know, if you do that to the Bulldogs, you're, you're going to get ran over. Um, they're, they're really good at executing, you know, the, the power run game, and our guys know that, you know, you're going to have to buckle your chin strap. Um, it's going to be a four-quarter affair, you know, with them, and they're going to come straight downhill. Um, they're going to be very, very physical in the run game. So our guys know we got a huge task at hand, and it's one that, you know, they understand that in order to win this football game, um, man, you got to take your game to the next level. You know, what does it feel like for you to return to your alma mater and coach? You know, you know, I, I've been there one other time. I think it was our second year maybe. Um, you know, it's their homecoming and, you know, outside of football. You know, it's awesome, you know, that, you know, the alumni and all be back. And I'll know, I'll know a great number of them. But at the end of the day, I have a job. You know, I have a job. I love my job here at Davenport. And the objective is to go out there and win the football game and prepare our kids to win this football game. And, uh, all the festivities that would be for all the other alumni, and I'm pretty sure that they, um, it, you know, even though I'm an alumni, they will not be rooting for me whatsoever, you know. So um, it's understood, and uh, you know. But like I told you, man, I got a job to do, and I'm excited to have the opportunity to go back and and, and have the opportunity to face the uh, number one, number two team in the country. All right, coach. Good luck on Saturday, 3 p.m. kickoff in Big Rapids. Thank you. Go Panthers.